You're listening to the KB Podcast Network. You're listening to Supernatural Living with your host, Beth Packard. Today on the show, I want to share with you about some absolutely incredible encounters with the Lord that I have had over the last week. I'm serious. You you guys that have been just following along with me, I know you know that things have been challenging in this season and I have done all I can do to stand and not grow weary with different stuff that's going on. And can I just tell you that I have just been seeing, our family's been seeing just breakthrough after breakthrough right in the midst of all this junk. And um, I just have so much I want to share. I Last night I had quite an encounter with the Lord in a dream and... God just speaks to me so much through dreams. I'm not sure about you guys, but he just can encounter me in such a way, such a powerful way through my dreams. In fact, like my entire book that I just finished, yes, this last week I finished it. I have sent it off to be edited. It's actually already been through the first process, the first editing stages. So that book, my book that I have just written is going to be going in to be published soon. I'm so excited. As I get a little idea of the timeline of that, I will for sure be letting you guys know. I cannot even hardly believe Earlier this year, I made a vision board for 2019, and one of the things, there are five things on it, and one of the things on that vision board is to publish my book, and to just look at it, I look at this vision board every day, and to look at that vision board and see, publish my book, and to know that it is happening, it's really happening, is just incredible, right in the middle of everything else, like so much going on, but God has just given me the grace and he's just walked with me and spoken through me. And I'm just so excited to share some prophetic dreams that I've had that have just radically changed my life. And um, I don't necessarily want to talk about the book today, but I do all at the same time because I had another encounter like that last night, one where I believe that the Lord just showed me who he sees me as who he knows me to be, even though I don't always believe that I'm capable of the things that he's called me to. Sometimes we, you know, as, as uh, believers, we can even doubt what the Lord has called us to, and we can doubt the destiny that he's put on our lives. But this one's huge. It's, it's a huge thing. And what he showed me last night was just so powerful. And I felt like, you know, in movies, well, I guess it happens in real life too, where a person is going in and they they uh, bow down and, and they get knighted and like the swords like placed on each shoulder. And I just felt like that last night. I felt like the Lord just like, I bowed down before him and he just knighted me and said, you're ready. You're equipped. I believe in you. Like, go get them. And I wrote for probably five pages in my journal at three o'clock this morning. And it was just, it was so intense. And I actually woke my husband while he was awake when he saw me up and we visited, Aaron and I visited for an hour probably in bed. And we just had a hard time falling back asleep after some real breakthrough with some things. And, and I just want to encourage you before I get into what I was going to discuss with you. Um, like, We've really been intentionally uh, praying through some of the things that we feel like the Lord is wanting us to work on and um, just putting our hands onto paper and just in unity agreeing on these things each night before bed. And it's been so amazing, like breakthrough right off the bat with different things, just coming into unity together 
And so I just want to encourage you, if you're in a a place where you're needing that, like sit down with your spouse, sit down with, with whoever you have that's close to you and just come into agreement with them over those things. Reach out for a prayer partner. Um, Don't be afraid to ask people for help. Seriously, like do not be afraid to ask people for help. That is pride when we don't want to ask other people for help. Um, be willing to listen to their advice. <laughs> ask ask someone whose advice you want. But um, really just reach out to someone and let them come into unity with you and you guys agree on, on the matters that you are dealing with. And I'm so thankful I have uh, women in my life and my husband and and other people that I can, I can call up or message and just say, Hey, this is going on. Will you partner in prayer with me? And like, can we like tackle this, you know, and, and they're always so willing to do that. And it's so powerful. That's what the body is designed to do. We're to come together and to, and to work that stuff out. So I just want to encourage you with that in case that's something that you feel alone in and like, you don't have somebody to do that with you find somebody like make that a priority and find somebody to be that person for you. Okay. So I, after this incredible dream that I had, like, I'm not even going to share the dream because it's not pertinent to what I want to share today, but I just, I woke up and I'm praying through it with the Lord and he's giving me all this like divine, incredible, like, keys to what to do to walk through this and to, and to break some stuff that's been going on and off and all this stuff. And I'm so excited. Right. And I ask like, okay, what else? You know, I just, I'm journaling what he's telling me and I'm writing it down. And I said, what else do you want me to do? And he specifically said, I want you to get this book out. And he told me the name of the book. And so I pull it out and I was like, okay, I'm going to read this tomorrow. But I was so wound up. I know three o'clock in the morning and I'm just wound up from this dream. And so I open it up and I just pull it open randomly to page 129, you know, just like right in the middle of the book. And there's a spot that I've, I've read this book probably 10 times. And so I have lots of stuff underlined and highlighted and stuff. And, and I open this up and there's this, this uh, paragraph that I want to share with you because it was just so profound And I was like, wow, of everything that I could have opened up to, like, I love when God just, he, he just knows, you know, like sometimes I wonder if he changes the words on a page or how he directs our steps and our fingers to uh, open to the exact thing that he wants to share with us. But okay. So this is what it said. Uh, pain is good. It shows you where there is a problem. Do not try to reduce the pain until you find the problem. God's truth often brings pain as it highlights a problem that we have, but his truth will always show us the way to freedom too. When you know this, you will even begin to rejoice in your trials, which are all allowed to help keep you on the path of life. Wow, right? So, I felt like he was saying these trials, these things that you've been going through in this season, which we know this, you know, we know these things. We know where to rejoice in our tribulations. And we know that Paul did that, you know, all through the New Testament, he was continually rejoicing, even though he was, you know, in jail or he was, you know, being beaten and, and the other apostles, you know, they, they were going through this stuff. Even Jesus, he rejoiced and he he set his face towards the joy that was set before him. You know, he endured the cross because of the joy that was set before him. And I just, I just saw this and it just revealed to me how important it is that in our trials, in those pain points, God is speaking to us and he's telling us, you know, the amount of pain that's there. Like there's a problem. There's, there's a, there's an issue here that I want to work through with you like a purifying. And, and I've, I've shared this with you all before. Like I continually ask the Lord, like purify me, you know, make me whole. I want to be humble before the Lord. And I want to, I want to be pure and have, you know, clean hands before him and a pure heart. And so like, I'll ask him those things and (laughs) 
It's so challenging, you guys. It is because he is doing it. He's pruning us. When we ask him for those things, he he gives them to us. And so we've, I've been in the season of pruning right now. And so when I read this, that, you know, like, don't try to reduce the pain until you found the problem because he uses that pain to show us the problem. And then he reveals the way to come through that problem. And he's always faithful. He is always faithful to do that. And so I just want to encourage you, like, you guys have walked with me over the last month or two as I've, as I've talked about, you know, like all the ways that we keep our eyes fixed on him through our trials. And these are things that I know that I've shared with you, but every time I, I have an encounter with the Lord, it's like a deeper revelation of that, a deeper understanding of what that really means to rejoice in our trials. And what I saw this as, as I read that, I just thought, okay, like this has been a trial. Like I've never faced a trial like this that's going on right now. It's, it's a new thing. It's a new dimension. It's a new, deeper, um, deeper realm. And yet it's so similar to things that we've been, been through before. And, you know, our, our, it's, it's just like cycles. And so as we, as we draw on the keys and we learn the keys to breaking these cycles, you know, like we literally just go from glory to glory and we step up a little higher each time. And so I'm just so, I'm so excited. Like I, I can't even fathom the fact that, you know, like how long it takes sometimes to get it. Like sometimes we'll, we'll deal with a a problem for, you know, 10 minutes and we'll get the answer, you know, and the breakthrough. And then other times it takes months and other times people, you know, will, will deal with things for years and decades. And, and you know what, like there is a place where we've got to just say, what is the problem here? Like, what is it? And how do I fix this Lord? Like, how are we going to make it through this problem? What do we need to do? And, And I just was so excited as Aaron and I just laid our hands to our prayer list and this list of items, you know, and, and we agreed together in unity, like we are going to see breakthrough in this. We are going to see, you know, revelation revealed to us. And, and I did last night. I mean, this was something huge in our lives that's going to change a lot of things. And I'm just so excited that we can rejoice in these trials. We can say, you know, I don't love where I'm at right now, but I love you, God, and I trust you. And I'm going to rejoice and I'm going to praise you. And I'm going to remind you how worthy you are because you always show up and you always come through and you always, always, always love us and encounter us and and reveal yourself to us. And so that is so the key to our breakthroughs. That is the key to rejoice in our trials and to know that he will, he is a God who answers. He always answers and his yes is always yes. And I just want to encourage you with that. Um, Lord, I just bless every listener. I just thank you that if they're going through the muck and the mire right now, Lord, that you will give them supernatural strength to praise you during these trials, that you will give them the supernatural strength to go deeper with you, to find a prayer partner, to be in unity, to find someone to be in unity with them and to just pray through these things, to pray through for the breakthrough and to praise through until their breakthrough comes. I thank you, Lord, that they will not keep their eyes fixed on the problem, but that they will keep their eyes fixed on you and you will come in and swoop in and you will be the provision for their problem, Lord, and that you will conquer this and you will get them through and they will find their breakthrough. I just bless them, Lord, right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You guys, you're awesome. You know you're awesome. I love that you keep coming back week after week. I hope you're sharing this with others. Can I just tell you, like, we want to partner with you. I part. I want to partner with you in prayer. I want to partner with you 
in your vision and your destiny and what God is calling you to. And so please jump on. If you're on Facebook, will you find my page, Supernatural Living with Beth Packard? Like that page. Connect with me there. If you want, connect with me just on my regular Facebook account at Beth Packard. Let me know who you are and you know, like when you send a friend request so we can get connected. I just, I'm not looking for more friends, you know, Facebook friends, quote unquote, like I want connection. And so I want to connect with you there. Let's partner together. Let's partner. Um, part of that partnering is you guys helping, you know, praying for us and our ministry here praying for um, breakthrough, continued breakthrough with that. Like we want to pray for you guys and we want to be able to be connected. So connect on um, the social media platforms with us. If you guys would love an opportunity to sow into what's going on and to partner with finances, that is one of the most powerful ways to sow into someone who's got the breakthrough that you're looking for. That is what one way that Aaron and I have been able to excel in so many ways is by partnering with ministries and people that we uh, glean from. We partner with them financially and prayerfully. And when we do that, we actually gain a reward from that. And we are given part of that acceleration in those areas. And so if that's something that you are looking for and you are needing some breakthrough in some areas, like I encourage you to partner with our ministry and do that. And you can do that on Facebook through um, Supernatural Living with Beth Packard or even on our website, you can do that at bethpacker.com. We would love to bring you in and give you some more discipleship through that, that process. And just reach out, send us your prayer requests. You guys are amazing. You're so amazing. I love hearing from you. So keep sharing the podcast and keep sharing your comments and reaching out. Have a blessed, blessed week, and we will talk next week.